Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell as we look to continue to grow the channel in 2023. And that you're following us on Twitter and on Instagram for all the latest news and stories as and when it happens. So in today's video, I'm looking at five players who are out of contract in 2023. As of time of recording, these players have not signed new contract extensions with their clubs. And as of January the 1st, they are free agents in terms of being able to talk to clubs outside of their leagues ahead of a potential summer move. Now, I'm not saying these players will leave their club, but these are players that who are big key players for their team and have the potential to uh, move away in the summer should they not sign a new deal. Now first up we have Alessia Russo. Now Russo is a key key player for Manchester United and I can see Mark Skinner and the Man United board being really keen in keeping Russo at the club. However in the summer it was reported that she had turned down a contract extension with the club and that talks would maybe be progressing through uh, this season. However as of today's date uh, there has been no official news on uh, Russo signing a new contract with the club. Now obviously if Man United were to lose Russo it would be a massive massive loss uh, because of the goals uh, that she provides for Mark Skinner size as they are currently sitting in the top three in the WSL and uh, if they lose Russo whether it be in January to a club abroad in terms of uh, actually moving which I doubt United will want to do or uh, losing her to a team uh, come the summer I think United will be uh, regretting that if they don't get her to sign even if it's just a one-year extension and then letting her go next summer um, I think it'll be a big big mistake from Mark Skinner side and for me I think uh, United will have to tie her down and keep her there for a long time because if you've got her and Ella Toon who obviously Tooney we know has got a long contract with Manchester United uh, letting Russo go would be a big mistake because them two are like core players in the forward line of Manchester United staying in the WSL and we look at Chelsea and their captain Magdalena Eriksson now Eriksson is currently a number of players at Chelsea who have contracts expiring in 2023 there's about seven or eight players who have deals uh, up at the end of this summer now again it wouldn't surprise me if later on in 2023 we hear Chelsea announce uh, that Ericsson has signed a new deal because of how crucial she is to Emma Hayes's back line and the WSL uh, title runs so far and how they're doing this season it wouldn't be surprising if Magdalena Eriksson was to uh, pen, put pen to paper in signing a new deal but as of today no uh, new contract for Magdalena Eriksson and maybe she has completed everything with Chelsea and she may want to move on um, to another team in Europe head over to America and experience the NWSL it is uh, going to be an intriguing time at Chelsea, not just like I said for Ericsson, but there's about, like I said, seven to eight players at that Chelsea squad, if not a couple more, that are out of contract in 2023. And I think that's going to be really interesting to see how Emma Hayes and the Chelsea board go about uh, getting these players tied up to new deals. Next up, we head over to France and look at Signe Brune of uh, Olympic Lyonnais. Now, Brune has had her time really limited when she first moved there, uh, hence why in January last year she moved to Manchester United on loan for the season. Now, uh, for the second half of that season, now her time was limited at United due to a lot of injuries and wasn't able to score a goal for the Red Devils. However, this season at Lyon, she's looked lively, getting a couple of goals in uh, both. Uh, Division 1 Femini in France and uh, in the Champions League as well so Brune again for me just with how Lyon play it wouldn't surprise me if we see news maybe even potentially in January that she gets a move away from Lyon and we get to see her showcase her talents elsewhere in Europe again maybe another move to the WSL wouldn't be off the cards and now the final two players I'm going to look at are both at Barcelona in uh, Division F in Spain first up we have is Claudia Pina the young starlet again is a contract running out this summer now Jonathan Geraldes and the Barcelona board 
will be very keen on getting Claudio Pena tied down to a contract. It's one of the best young players in world football at the minute and he's just proven her case week in week out both in the league and in the Champions League scoring some absolute beautiful goals uh, this season and also last season as well and I think she's going to be an integral part of uh, eventually that transition uh, into the younger years at Barcelona with the likes of her, Vicky Bejo, uh, Salma, sorry Vicky Lopez, uh, Geish Ferreira, Salma Paraluelo, like Barcelona have a good core of young players coming through, Bruno Villamala as well coming back from injury so um, I think uh, Barcelona will be really key in getting Pina signed to a new deal. Again though, I would love to see her come into the WSL and just to show her trade and it wouldn't take long for her to be one of the best midfielders in world football. Another one that is out of contract uh, in 2023 is Ingrid Engen. Now the Norwegian international at time has really been a bit hit and miss at Barcelona since joining from uh, Wolfsburg. At times she's looked really good and you're like, okay, it's understandable why Barcelona have made that move for her when she first came and uh, she's like, okay, well, she's really lighting up. But then over time she seemed to have struggled um, with her game time and her performances. So for me, it wouldn't be too surprising. I don't think she'll leave uh, in January, but possibly the summer and move away uh, from Barcelona I wouldn't completely write it off the cards as of yet um, like I said though anything can happen with transfer windows she could sign a new contract extension to remain at Barcelona but just my feeling in my head is uh, a move away from Barcelona is something that could potentially be on the cards for Ingrid Engen so those are my five players that are out of contract in 2023 who could either leave their club or are yet to sign uh, contract extensions at their club. Now, like I just said, I don't think all five of these players will necessarily leave their clubs. It's just the fact that they is the potential for them to leave and start negotiating with other clubs throughout January should they want to move away from their respective clubs. Right, that is it for this video. We'll be back with plenty more uh, videos throughout the obviously uh, January as we get ready to wrap up uh, a January transfer window and welcome back club football after the winter break. Now in the meantime make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video of ours and that you're following us on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest news and stories as and when it happens. And until next time we'll see you soon.